Hi everyone and welcome to Team Talk. Can you believe it? We're into the last quarter of the year, the fourth quarter of 2014. Boy, it's gone fast. So we've got to have a really big push now to get to the end of the year. And Harcourts has had a great end to the last quarter. In September, we had terrific performances again from everyone and uh, later on I'll talk about who's really done well. What was also very exciting recently is we've got some new people who've joined Harcourts. Peter van der Merwe and his team from Harcourts Premier has joined us on the eastern side of Pretoria. So it's fantastic to have Peter and his team on board. Uh, in the central area of Johannesburg, we have Cello who's joined us and uh, once again looking forward to seeing him build that office in the Orange Grove area. We've also got up the west coast at Santa Helena Bay. Uh, a beautiful part of the world where our West Coast team has expanded into St. Helena Bay, so to Marius and Rion. Uh, great to have you guys expanding into, into that uh, lovely picturesque little fishing village. Um, and then finally, an office we've been waiting for ages to open in Camps Bay. So on the Atlantic seaboard, Dennis Hamer is going to hopefully bring his success that he's found in Pretoria and put that into the Camps Bay area. Very excited about seeing what's going to happen with Dennis and the team at Camps Bay. Two new rentals.com offices as well um, that have opened, the Harcourts Premier team up in Pretoria. And also, finally, Lance Ghost and the Cornerstone guys have gone into rentals and have opened an RDC. So well done to you guys. We're wishing you all the best. In terms of performances in September, our top offices did very well once again. So the top five in September was Platinum, Rhino, Cornerstone, Capital and Achievers. Well done to all of you. Our top five agents in that month were a couple of new faces and then some familiar faces. Tessa Enslin, Latifa Jacobs out of the Muffer King area. Nice to see some really good performances out of there. Uh, Christine Pauling, Walter Brockman and Nicolene Krobler. Good to see new faces but also good to see some of the old, uh, old agents doing just as well. Well done. Now, recently we've had the master classes, which have been going around the country. Uh, those completed last week. Do you know we had 350 people coming to listen to their peers talking about some of the tips and tricks of the business. I think that peer-to-peer -peer, uh, training seems to work so well. And uh, thanks to all of those of you who took part in master class and to those of you who came and uh, witnessed what your peers had to say. We are holding the destination, Harcourt's training here this week. This is obviously for new business owners who've joined us and they're coming to learn about what Harcourts is all about and give them a bit of an induction and we're looking forward to having all of them here in Durban and talking to you a little bit about what Harcourts has to offer. This week we've also seen very excitingly the live chat uh, facility come onto our national website and Anton tells me we've already had 36 different uh, people approaching us. Some of those have turned into referrals so once again leading the drive technology wise terms of our website and some great work being done there. I want to leave you with a thought this week and a message. This comes from a gentleman called Richard Flint who actually spoke at our conference a few years ago um, on the Wild Coast. Richard had a great saying, what I don't confront I condone. So to put that another way, things that I don't stand up to and address means I'm accepting them. If you've got someone in your office who's doing something wrong and you just turn a blind eye and don't do anything about it, you are accepting it, you are condoning it. It's the same as if you have in your personal life, if I hear people complaining about, I'm not happy with this, I'm not happy with that. If you don't do anything about it, you're accepting it. So what you don't confront, you condone. Use that throughout your month this month and think about every time you're faced with something that you should confront and you maybe just turn a blind eye. Don't do that. You're not going to help anything by turning a blind eye and, and uh, putting your head in the sand. What you don't confront, you condone. Till next month. Cheers.